Welcome back to episode 7 of our Let's Play Through of Genesis Alpha 1. Okay, we finished the previous episode by getting this U-Butte grenade launching weapon that I'm holding. But for now, we don't have any resources to build any additional modules. We can build a greenhouse, but right now I think I'm just going to hold off on that until I feel we absolutely need to. There's a few other things I would like, uh, or a few other resources I'd like to get in order to be able to uh, build this decontamination A module to see how that works. And also, we have a lot of resources in this area that we just need to mine so that we can move on to another area because some of the resources that we do need aren't here. Specifically, we're trying to build a reactor as we've gotten very low on energy. But we don't have the iron and copper needed. We are in a sector of space where a trader is available. However, unfortunately, the trader doesn't have any copper to trade for. He does have two schematics that I want, but unfortunately I also don't have a lot of resources in order to trade for those. He wants 30 different resources for the, the workshop and 20 for a beaming station. And I think, honestly, even though the workshop may give us access to better weapons and defenses, the beaming station for just fast traveling around the ship could be really good. But either way, I think we're probably going to have to come back to the trader to get, get those schematics. We've been looking at the local area and there are a couple of... Well, there's no danger in this area, so that's fine. But most of the space around here is blank. To get any kind of resources, we need to go to one of these three sectors so pretty much now it's a case of exhausting this sector and moving on and then we'll come back to the trader when we have enough resources that enough resources to spare basically so for now it's all about going down to the planet's surface actually it's not even that we've exhausted that as well so for now what we want to do is simply help the tractor beam guy do his job faster and in fact this could be a good test let's find out what happens if we bring in another crew member to this area to help with that there are three terminals here so three crew members should speed this process along quite well actually the other thing I wanted to do as well is we're fairly low on resources for building ammunition. We don't have a lot of resources. We can build a few energy cells for our, uh, what is it? I call, keep calling it a pulse rifle, but it's a laser rifle. However, this is a constant battle to keep up with resources at this point, but the aliens we're encountering are all pretty weak. So I feel like what I'm doing is I'm I'm juggling resources, but I'm wasting those resources on aliens that don't need me to waste it on. So I think I would like to swap. If we add the pistol that doesn't use any ammo to our weapon rack and swap it for our laser rifle. So now we have a pistol and a grenade launcher. And I might just use the pistol from now on to conserve resources. And, in, and then from here, we'll just help the tractor beam guys pull in all the resources that are available from space so that we can move along. Resources collected. And there's only one uh, remaining space debris to do that with, so this won't take long at all with the three of us working around the clock. Three of us. Oh yes, there are three of us here. This game is so damn cool. The pistol isn't great, but it's also not too bad. I mean, it doesn't use any ammo. It t generally one-shots the lower level enemies with a single hit. I haven't tried it on any high level enemies yet, but Really, I'm not even sure we've met any high-level enemies. 
In episode 6, we did encounter some humanoid enemies that, that were a little tougher than the worms and the facehuggers, but I think everything we've encountered so far, the pistol is just fine for. That was our first clone we ever made. Oh, we're already all here, buddy. Really sure why you're complaining. Resource being complete. Resource acquired. Where are we going? Yeah, this process is going much faster with the three of us here. Resource being complete. Which is another argument for why we we need more crew members as a priority. Everything will go so much faster. Plus the two extra, the extra crew member in this room will really add to the defensive state of this room. So, in fact, my question to myself right now is, can we clone another crew member with the level of atmosphere that we already have. We have enough quarters, so yeah, we have two quarters, so we certainly can stock or we have enough beds for the crew members. So let's give it a try. Let's see if we can get another crew member on, on the job. like we can human high intelligence cloning initiated so it looks like we can in which case we would maybe allocate in fact what we could do is if we clone, do a couple more clones and allocate them to the hangar and to the tractor beam we could maybe get the whole resource collection process largely automated allowing us to stay on the ship more and manage our resources faster that might be a good goal to set for now so let's speed up this cloning process New clone has been welcomed. Hello, sir. Schwartz. So we might allocate Schwartz to... We've got two people in the tractor room. Let's allocate Schwartz to the hangar, where I think we have one, yes. Job assigned. So that will be two people in the hangar and two people in the tractor area. And if we can clone another another two, we could have our hangar and our tractor area fully staffed. I don't know if we can do this, if we have the ability to do this. Production in process. What's that mean? Insufficient biosphere. All right, that's another answer that I've been seeking, whether or not we can continue to add crew members without building another greenhouse, which we can't, at least of this type of alien, but we may be able to with humans. Yes, we can, because we have our main greenhouse is very much... Yeah, it's all O2, so for now we can clone a few humans at least. So let's do that. Cloning initiated. This is gonna speed the game up a lot. Oh, that's pretty creepy. I hope he doesn't come out a zombie. New clone arrived. 
No, he's okay. Welcome to the world, Gibson. And Gibson can be allocated to the tractor beam room. A sign. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. It should say a sign. Duh. That way you would know they're actually assigned, but you can, if they've, it, it, it says unassigned in brackets, so I suppose that's good enough. All right, Gibson, no, why can't I assign? Maybe you can only assign two to the tractor room. If so, that defeats that idea. Actually, it should say, say shouldn't it? If we look up here, oh, look via the map. Two of two. So I guess that's why you need to build upgraded versions of each module so that you can assign more crew and work faster. So where can we assign... Can we assign him to the hangar? The bridge? The hangar is full. Okay, so... The bridge or the greenhouse. And there is nowhere else where you can actually assign crew you can assign a crew to the workshop but I don't see why we don't have the resources to be making anything in the workshop anyway at this stage oh the refinery could be good actually the refinery would be ideal although the truth is we're about to move on to a new sector and the bridge will be required for scanning that sector so if we haven't already scanned it so so I think we might assign them to the bridge. For now, we may reassign him to the refinery to speed up refining. Job assigned. But for now, we can change that when we need to. And this might be exhausted already. It is. Okay, so we're good to go to the next uh, next sector. No, not the hangar. The bridge. Unfortunately, I really would have loved to have bought some of those specs from this merchant, so I hope the merchant doesn't vanish when we do. I hope this is the merchant's permanent location. Okay, so you can see each of these planets has been explored. So that means that we've fully scanned them, which means having somebody on the bridge will only be good for surrounding sectors. So let's just hyper jump to that location. Uh, did he allocate someone to the bridge, didn't I? Yeah, where is he? Am I blind? Where's Gibson? Oh, there you are, Gibson. Okay, so Gibson scanning, yeah. So Gibson's scanning the, even though we've scanned this whole area, Gibson will be scanning that area and only that area. So once the planets there are explored, we'll reallocate Gibson to the refinery. Although it is possible we could make another clone right now and put them into the refinery. But before we do, let's get some materials coming in by the tractor beam. Let's see if we can make another clone. Initiate. Excellent. Things are speeding up now. Cloning done. And I'm glad it warns you that you can't make a clone if you don't have the biosphere available, so resources that you don't waste resources on some uh, on some person that's going to die straight away. Hello, bird. And Bird, you will be getting allocated to the refinery, which is next to the hangar. I don't think there's a quicker way to allocate them to different areas of the ship. I'm not sure yet, but... Job aside. 
Yeah, I think you have to be in the area you want to assign them to. Okay, so th that means we'll have two... Oh, we can assign three people to the refinery. We absolutely should do that if we can. And that means making yet another clone. If we can make another clone. Cloning initiated. Excellent. Oh, things are definitely going to speed up faster for us now. One of the holdbacks Resources in the previous episodes was not only collecting resources and removing them from the ship but also the time it takes for the refinery to process those resources into something usable so this should speed that process up incredibly and you first of all, I want to know your name Alamo you're going to the refinery Alamo not to the workshop Okay, so now I think we have a crew member assigned. We could put another person on the bridge, but I don't really think the scanning on the bridge is essential at this point. We can put another crew member in the greenhouse. The workshop I, I find pretty irrelevant as the clone lab is at this point. Still, I am interested to know if we have room for another clone. No nope, ins insufficient biosphere. So this is the point where we need to build and set up a whole new greenhouse. Let's just check how this tractor beam's going. No free space in storage. Okay. We need storage. And that means we're probably going to start running out of deposit room too. Better just have a look at our situation. A bit more storage. Plenty of room for biomass, no room for energy. So even if we wanted to build a deposit, we can't, but we have heaps of room in the deposit area. And that's probably because we're refining super fast now. So we don't, I'm thinking we're probably going to need more storage and not hardly any more deposit. That's probably as much deposit as we're going to need at this point. So yeah, we need a reactor and then we need more storage and more crew members and another greenhouse. So we need copper. And I think I saw copper. Yes, so let's prioritize getting in some copper in. We also need more robots. Oh, that actually reminds me. Now that we have a couple of... Where'd that go? Now that we actually have some crew members in the staffing the hangar, we should be able to send them to the ship without us, and hopefully no one will die. But... There's two sites detected. I'm not sure if they can go to the sites but maybe they can so let's send them off by themselves and actually this will be the first time we've seen the ship leave without us on it good luck guys don't die don't bring any aliens back with you So that's the first time we've done that. Let's hope that goes well. And now we need to resources collected. Build a reactor, which we probably can now. And that's because we processed that really fast. 
I also want to build one of these decontamination things, but we can't do that without the reactor. So we're going to have to put the reactor on... Where's our existing reactor? I can't remember where I put the uh, refinery deposit. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so it does get another node off it. Alright, it's fine. We'll put it here. Let's have a look at what our ship looks like now. Like the world's worst starship designer was involved. <laughs> Still, it's pretty cool. So, back to the floor plan. Alright, we now have our reactor, which means we also we'll be able to build this decontamination unit when we get one more thing of copper. We need another greenhouse and in fact that should be the priority now since more crew members are going to speed everything we're doing up. But we know we also need more storage so let's put a little bit more storage up. Our greenhouse can go well we know we're not going to need to add another deposit on here so let's put the greenhouse here oh we don't have the iron for that apparently that's all right we know we need iron have these guys come back yet they have pair destroyed energy nodes where are our destroyed energy nodes? The refinery. Uh-oh, what's going on in here? There's no protection in here. Is it underneath? Resources collected. Where? We've got turrets here. Oh, the refinery is under full attack. How did that happen? Oh, these guys must have brought it back. But they killed it. So, the guys from the hangar seem to have brought back a bunch of aliens. And apparently, the aliens have destroyed an energy node. But I don't know how to tell... ...how to find those. I guess you just... It's functional. It's functional. How am I meant to know where the... Turrets. There's no mention of energy nodes. I don't know how I'm meant to. Unless. I'm assuming the guys manning the area can't repair them. Or well, maybe they did. That's functional. It can't have been a general warning. New materials have been refined. I think the crew members may repair them. They have to, because... I'm not seeing any broken nodes. So I think they must repair them. But what, one thing we just learnt is the refinery and the hangar are not 100% safe yet and need more defences. So let's go to the workshop. Actually, New let's just check and see if they refined. were able to get to that site. No. Harvester destination site. We need more defences. Yeah, 
this. Process processing. Process processing. Okay. So if we can put some more defenses around the refinery and the hangar. I think that will be in fact what we'll try and do is add defenses everywhere we notice New problems. got through to the refinery which they may have done by here so we'll put an energy barrier here Landing sequence and let's see if sending crew members off to a planet runs the risk of bringing in aliens more than going by yourself it certainly seems to I wasn't bringing any aliens back with me, so I'm thinking sending crew members is more dangerous. And they don't seem to be able to go and check out the site, which you have to do yourself anyway. So I'm thinking manned expeditions may be of value until you have more defenses. I think another energy barrier here. Make sure that we can stop the aliens from getting anywhere near here. But just in case they do get in here, let's put, we have a turret there, let's put a turret here too. Where did that come from? Given that that was here, it must have come down. Maybe some of the aliens can come out of the materials we're harvesting and that's why they can appear in here. In which case, we better make sure that they can't get through this door from here. And we don't have any more energy barriers, so we don't have any more turrets. So that definitely seems to be something we need to wor work on. Okay, well that's been some interesting learning. We've got more crew. I need to... We, we built the extra... We haven't... We haven't built the extra greenhouse yet. But I think we might do all of that. We might build the greenhouse in the next episode and also look at further strengthening the refinery area with defenses. And we will also, in the next episode, go and find out what these two sites have on offer as far as schematics go. And yeah, that will conclude episode 7, and I'll see you guys in episode 8.